from the time first iron was first used until late medieval times, people used bloomery furnaces. And what a bloomery furnace is, it's essentially a clay tube that you put the iron ore and charcoal in. You don't get molten iron coming out of the bottom, and a lot of people misunderstand this. You're not trying to make cast iron, you're actually melting off the, the waste material, the silica and other things in the rock, and the iron stays behind as a big lump called a bloom, like a cauliflower. So that's what a bloomery furnace is, and that's what I've got in there. I'll take you in to show you that in a minute. That's a good question, it's just the, the burning is slightly slower than last week. So let's move on. Let's say. That simple because you can do that and, and all the all the blue flows away. So you've got to, it's quite tricky to get it right. Okay, I'll, I'll give it a Well what we're doing now is burning down the last of the charcoal. It's three quarters of that column of charcoal have burnt down. We've got about that much left. And it's burning quite fast. It'll take about seven or eight minutes to get to the level of the bloom. And the bloom is the lump of iron with the slag hanging onto the bottom of it. The very bright bits of slag, that bit's slag, odd bits of it, that's a bit of slag there. Get the bottom bit off, which will be slag. That's a, that's mainly slag. That's the bloom. If you were a prehistoric person, you start beating that now to consolidate it. Well, I, I won't. I think because then you can look at it. And here's a oh, this looks very nice. Uh, that, that bit looks quite good. So. <laughs> well, we have got iron. You have got that's good iron. So that's not, that's by no means a failure, and that that's solid enough to be able to use. I mean, that you could make. I, I, there's enough for a good, a big knife.